a member of Better Sheets asked this question, uh, Sharon asked this question actually, if we have a first sheet and a second sheet, how do we get information from one sheet to the other without import range, but with actually with app script? Uh, because absolutely we can get whatever is in a first spreadsheet, let's say this one says hi there, and in the second spreadsheet over here on the second tab, we want to do uh, get that in a whatever is in A1. So we'll do equals import range, and we need the spreadsheet URL, in this case the here, put that there. We need the range string, which is going to be sheet one, exclamation point, A1, end quotes, and we get the information. We have to allow access, but then we actually get whatever is there. We can say, hello, we can say, hello, there, and in the second sheet, it'll update there. Cool. But how do we do this with uh, app script? And here's the answer here. Um, we're going to use a function get first AI, A1, not AI. We're going to get the text, which is spreadsheet app dot open by URL. And we're going to put the URL in there. Actually, let me walk through this whole thing because I think we can walk through this much simpler than just explaining it. So what we're going to need to do first is have some place to get it and some place to put it. So where we're going to put the information is going to be sheet one, A1 in the second spreadsheet. Again, we're going to go up to extensions app script. And we're going to open this file. We're going to write some function name. We'll call it get first AI. We need to put the information somewhere, but let's create a variable text equals. We will have some information there, but how do we get that text into this second spreadsheet is we're going to do spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name. We're going to do sheet one get range a one because we want to put a one in a one. Uh, and then we're going to do set value. And why I put this variable text up here is because this variable down here is going to be text. Whatever output we get from here, we're going to set that value here. We're going to do this all with app script here. So what is this uh, value up here? We're going to go back to the first spreadsheet. We should get that URL again. Uh, and we're going to do spreadsheet app dot, not get active spreadsheet, but open by URL. We're going to paste the URL in there inside of quotes. And then we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to do get range. Sorry, not get range, get sheet by name. Because now everything before this first dot, like this get sheet by name, get range, set value, or get value is what we're going to do. But before that is different. But after it, it's going to, tr it's going to tre treat this sheet the same as if we we're opening the active spreadsheet. So we're going to do sheet one, and you get range, A1. And instead of set value, we're going to get value. Now we're going to save this. And over in our second sheet, actually, I'm going to delete that import range. We're going to have nothing there. We're going to have hello world in A1 on our first spreadsheet. And this is the URL that we're grabbing. This is the sheet name down here, sheet one. We can change that later, and I'll show you how. Uh, but all we're going to do is hit run. When you do this for the very first time, you are going to have to accept the permissions or set the permissions. It says execution started, execution completed. Let's look at our second sheet and we have hello world. And so if we update this, let's say we have some more information here. It's not going to automatically update. We will have to come back here and click run again, but watch some other videos I have and you can set up triggers to do this. Uh, instead of clicking run every single time, you can set up some triggers uh, in order to do this every day or based on some thing you do in the sheet. There it is, more information. I want to show you some issues you might have with this. Let's say we do not get the entire URL. Maybe we want to edit this URL in some way. Let's do just this and see if this runs. If we edited that URL, hit run, and we have invalid argument URL. You see, this is the URL. If we use this URL, let's use it and just go to it, see what happens. It takes us to the spreadsheet. But for some reason, it doesn't have this just slash edit slash or hashtag GID, but maybe it is just the last um, slash that we need. Let's see. 
Let's add a last slash. Command S to save <coughs> that update. Hit run again. And it's fine, right? So it's not the entire URL we need, but we need, do need up and to and including that last slash. So we don't need this edit. Uh, we don't need a GID, uh, but we do need the URL. But there's another thing we can do here. Is what if we don't want the entire URL? We can use this ID, which is inside of the URL. Let's see what we can do here. Instead of get first a one, let's say get a two. And instead of open by URL, we're going to replace this with open by ID. And let's see if just this ID works. And again, the ID we're using is this one Q right here, this text in between the D slash and the last edit. Uh, we're gonna go over here, put in the quotes, hit command S. Let's put something in A2. Do we get this? And also let's change this to A2 where we're gonna go. Let's save it all. We're gonna select A2, hit run and see if that works. And it works. Actually we got A1, <laughs> sorry, we needed to change A2 as well. So we need to change both ranges. Let's run that again, double check it works, and it does. So can we use this function inside of a sheet just like we did with import range? Let's see, get first A1, we're going to hit enter and we're getting an error and it says you do not have permission to call and it gives us the required permissions, this Google APIs, this line three, but this is rather weird, right? What this is, what this is literally saying is that, yes, we do not have the permissions, but what is really happening in the background is that this type of function doesn't work inside of a function inside of a cell. So basically that cell doesn't have permission. Whereas our function was and is working perfectly from AppScript and within AppScript. But if we put that function inside of a cell, that cell doesn't really have permission. So it's getting sort of in the way and it, it's a little bit daunting to see this kind of um, error. And if you do, you're getting this error, you're probably gonna be watching this video if you get this um, required permissions, Google APIs, or, or this exception, you do not have permission to call spreadsheet app dot open by URL. Uh, but again, the fix is just use it in app script and run it with some trigger. Set this value here. Sometimes you may try to write this with like return text and that's how a custom function usually works. But we don't need a custom function in this case. We can just set, get the information and set it using this spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name, get range and set value. And this is the trick here to setting the value inside the function instead of doing it through a custom function like this. But we do, we can get this and really excited you watch this whole video. If you want to see more uh, app script, uh, check out my other uh, courses. We have spreadsheet automation 101. We have learn to code. We have master spreadsheet automation on Udemy. If you want to see the entire 20 hour course, goes really deep into APIs and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I hope this has helped you a lot. Sharon, especially.